it was a really perfect day today in terms of the weather, not just for heading to the beach, but for launching a weather balloon. Students from the University of Hartford have teamed up with their peers from the University of Bridgeport to send up a weather balloon high into the atmosphere equipped with a high-def camera. And it'll be aiding NASA's groundbreaking live stream of the Great American Solar Eclipse. I am taking a look, making sure the ground station software is running. If you happen to see a group of scientists and engineers standing in a field, there's bound to be something interesting going on. Hello, test. Hello, test. Today's launch is from UHart's campus, and it serves as a practice run for the real thing, which will take place in Kentucky less than two weeks from now. You should hear it playing uh, sounds. So here's how it works. NASA provides the payload, which is made up of video and still cameras, GPS tracking devices, and other sensors. It's going to take us half an hour to inflate the balloon. The students then make their own special modifications and then launch it. Just start filling up the balloon. Now, while it's up there, it communicates with the Iridium satellite network to relay information. Here we go. When the cameras are no longer needed, they literally just send an email to the tracker, which cuts itself from the balloon and parachutes back down to Earth. Well, hopefully it doesn't come down uh, 100 feet up in a tall tree five miles from the nearest road. We're going to be letting it go. So everyone was geared up for this practice launch. This guy is going to want to go for sky big time. After weather postponed their first launch last month, they wanted to get it all done today. Here we go. I let go now. Okay, so it's not as intense as a rocket launch. I got it. But it's going almost as far. On the day of the eclipse, which is August 21st, they'll be heading up to about 100,000 feet. It's about three times as high as planes fly, and it's well into the stratosphere. NASA's trying to maximize the amount of science they can fit on these things. And one way of doing that is to add what's called the bacterial coupon. It's essentially a sticker with some safe bacteria on it, and it allows planetary biologists to see just what happens to life in conditions harsh as the stratosphere. In a way, these conditions up there aren't too different from what you'd expect to feel on Mars. So this eclipse is opening up a number of scientific opportunities, not just for the big shots at NASA, but the students as well. I think one of the coolest things about this project is how it's really a nationwide collaborative project. Just the learning experience that students and faculty have had has just been immense because they're tackling engineering problems, they're tackling logistics, they're tackling collaborative challenges, all things that happen in real life but you don't know about it till you're knee deep in a project like this. And as you saw there, that team from Connecticut is one of 55 across the country that will be participating. Now, the great thing about being in a weather balloon in the stratosphere is that you're above the clouds. So even if it's a rainy day, we'll still get some amazing views from this network of cameras. The day of the eclipse, NASA will be streaming it all on their website, nasa.gov. I'm certainly excited about this. I, I imagine they're going to have like their big control room, and they have right. all these different cameras, and they'll just be able to punch up whatever camera they want. Yeah. So you can see what it looks like in the most best, in the best places, the awesome zone. As I called it earlier. So you've got 67% here. That's not that bad. You know, we're, no, that's we're, great. We're yeah, that's pretty good. the sun by 67%. It's kind of cool. It doesn't happen on a normal day, and it hasn't happened in 99 years. So we're really excited about well, this. Well, we will be watching. Yes, and absolutely rooting on the team from UHart and University.